Have you ever witnessed an artist that takes random piles of materials and creates something spectacular? That's what's happening with our city. It's a blank canvas just waiting to become a masterpiece. I think people are fully aware of the needs of the city. I'm not sure that they know all of the good, though, that happens like every day here in St. Louis. I think St. Louis is an amazing city. There are so many different neighborhoods and districts that are unique in their own way but also as you, as you begin to collect them together, form such a unique city. Um, I love all of the different local businesses, some of the new startups that are happening. I love the, the artist galleries and the musicians that are coming together in unity for the sake of a city. My brother Randy and I started STL Style way back in 2001 simply as a hobby because we couldn't find cool shirts that reflected St. Louis the way we saw it and we knew it. We've been on Cherokee Street now for five and a half years. We've watched the neighborhood grow around us literally. Buildings that were vacant and, and abandoned have come back to life with residents and businesses. Um, the city is really coming alive and I think Cherokee Street is a microcosm of what's really happening around the entire city. Here on Cherokee Street, I feel like we're on the ground floor of, of what's really taking shape in the city and that's like a new generation of city dwellers who choose to be here. I mean, we get people in here from all over the world and consistently we hear, my God, this city is gorgeous, it's so cool. The people are awesome, the food is great. Most people are really energized by St. Louis because it's like a work in progress. It really breeds doers. So here we've got this great city left to us and it's up to us to shape it into what it will become. I was part of an Instagram project with the hashtag good is winning and through that I got to seek out people in the St. Louis city area who are doing good things and who are using their time, their resources, their energy to love on this city and love the people in it. I got to hang out with someone who spends every Saturday going down and cooking a meal in an abandoned building for the homeless population that has now become her friends. All these people are saying, hey, I love this city, I love the people in it, and I believe in it. And so they're reaching out and they're doing all these wonderful, beautiful things um, and making a difference. Love the Lou has a mission of restoring identity and pride back to the city, uh, but it's not going to happen with just a few people. It will happen, however, if we all pitch in to help. And I truly believe that when that happens, when a unity movement happens, that we will actually see love restore this city. In 2015, Love the Loo partnered with 20 different organizations in the city, as well as 35 groups from outside the city, with well over 1,200 volunteers bringing resources and labor on weekends. Love the Loo was able to build unity with a variety of organizations, ranging from nonprofit organizations, universities, local businesses, Boy Scout troops, high schools, and foundations. <laughs>